Uh, to have your head coach have to take a step back halfway through the playoffs, that could really wreck some teams, I think. In, in what ways has Mike Brown been the right guy to kind of steer that transition? Yeah, he's been amazing. You know, he's, uh, he's kind of added a little bit of himself to it, but not too much to where you're kind of you're adjusted to something completely different, you know. I think that's when the change happens, you know. If Mike Brown comes in and saying, oh man, I'm Mike Brown and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. It's just, it's a completely different thing. So you go an entire year a certain way and then someone just changes it all up. Now you're trying to adjust to that while trying to play games. Um, he didn't do that. And so I think, you know, it's been amazing. Uh, you know, with all that he, he's been through, I think he knows what it takes and he didn't come into it like with an ego thing or like I need to prove myself. You know, he didn't make it about him. And I think that's, you know, been one of the keys and to sustaining, you know, the level of play um, that, you know, we've been able to sustain. I hope it's four. <laughs> We'd love it to be win four games. Like that would be great, but you know, we don't go into any series saying we're only gonna play four games. You know, that's just never can't approach a series like that. Like, yeah, we're going to play four. Now you approach it with the mindset of, of course, we love to sweep them, but you have to take that game by game. You know, you can't go in like, well, we're going to win four in a row. It's, it's just impossible to do. You know, it's impossible to think. I'm sure Cleveland thought they would win four in a row. You know, but stuff happens, and so to go in with that mindset up and and saying that they thought they would go, they would win four in a row. They didn't go in saying, yep, we got it done. Like, sweep is over. Like, yeah, somewhere in your mind, you would love to do it, but it's just impossible to, to think and believe that that's going to happen because every team has NBA players, you know, with talent that can win games. And so um, I expect it to be a competitive series, absolutely. But at the same time, I think if we go play our game, uh, our brand of basketball, who knows what happens? Uh, I mean, I think it's a great thing for the league, you know. Contrary to popular belief where everyone says it's boring, I think maybe people just fail to realize that you just have two great teams and don't appreciate that. You know, everyone want to say, oh man, these, you know, this is boring and, and you know, this, that, and the other. But you usually don't appreciate something until you don't have it anymore. And so I think maybe there's just a lack of appreciation for greatness. But then when you look at a situation, most people has never reached greatness. So, Maybe there's just not an understanding of what you're watching. I think you've you found two teams that, two great teams. And, you know, we've played that way. And maybe people don't appreciate it because of a blowout or because of a sweep. But people may want to be careful, you know, because I think right now you're witnessing greatness. Two great teams, great players. And that's what it is. And. Like I said, it probably won't be appreciated until it's over. So say we're, you know, whoever wins this championship, say we meet again next year, it still won't be appreciated until we don't meet again and you realize what you had. So I appreciate it. Um, I'm happy we've been able to steamroll people and I love the fact that they've been able to steamroll people because I just love great things. And I think right now we've found two great teams.